to infinity and beyond. My name is Roger and James here from DizKingdom.com. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about EGX, the Eurogamer Expo, which took place in Birmingham last week. Um, Four-day events, um, biggest game show in the UK. All the big players were there. We had... Um, you know, you had Nintendo, you had Xbox, you had Sony. Um, I got to tons of indies. It was like over 200 games to play. Great experience. Got to play quite a lot of Disney games. Better than last year because we only had Kingdom Hearts last year. This time I had Star Wars Battlefront 2. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I um, also got to play Disneyland Adventures and also Rush. And also tried out Cuphead. So, yeah, no, it was, a, it was just a very, very cool experience. So, um... Obviously, I didn't get to go, and I haven't really followed much of the uh, the news that has come out of there. But I figure, since this is a Disney podcast, maybe you could tell us a little about uh, what it was like doing uh, Disney or Pixar Rush and Disneyland Adventures using a controller. Yeah, this was a, this was a good one because um, usually in the morning I like try and get in all the, all the Disney sites so I can go do the other stuff in the afternoon. So when I was at the Xbox booth, packed out, they were giving away boxes and stuff, and the, they had so many different games, player, player grown, so many different ones. In the middle, they had they had four, four little ones. Let's just say the two-hour queue for every game, every game. If you wanted to sit and play this, those two games, you could sit straight down on the one Xbox they had set them both. <laughs> there was nobody was playing them. It was a little bit like there's you know a hundred people around me. I'm going to sit here and play Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Like everyone just standing in the queue looking at me, it's like as I play as this little girl running around Disneyland, walking up to the heads of um, and just and just laughing at the fact of. Then I went on It's a Small World ride and just like, I'm, yeah, I want to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's just like the real It's a yeah, Small World ride. Um, and I was like running around the pirates thing. Um, control wise, I'm obviously never played the the Connect one. The character, the little girl, runs around like you would expect, like in a game, if you just move it around and you walk up to the characters and you're like, you know, hello, and they you know, talk and they can high-five or have a little hug and stuff. And um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Um, the one thing I did notice at the event was this whole thing of sitting there with, with monitors and televisions. is all a bit like, like, like you're right up to it. And I'm getting, must be getting a bit old, and I'm having to like sort of ease back a little bit because I can't, it's a little bit too bright. To me. I mean, it looks stunning. I mean, I think they were running on the on the Xbox One X, um, so everything was running pretty smooth there. Um, yeah, it seemed quite. I having played like twenty minutes of it now, I'm a little bit more like, okay, twenty bucks. This is going to be good. Just the it was that kind of weird figure. Just sat there with your headphones on and just like almost being that like sucked into that Disney little magic of running down Main Street and running around because obviously it's based on the Disneyland. Um, and it's like, oh, yeah, run down here. Oh, we, oh, well, if we just run over there, it's over here. And I was a bit like, okay, cool. I like this. is This is going to be a fun little experience. It's going to, you know, all the music was there as you're walking through. You could hear all the ride. You know, I think I, I think I was humming at the time. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why people were giving you weird looks. Um, so no, that was it, good. So I jumped over to Rush, which right. was, again, <clears throat> pretty bad. The fact that the car console next to me with Rush on was empty the whole time I was sat there and there was hundreds of people so I'm going to be looking at this game as it is I don't think mass there's a lot of mass interest in this game at all although in fairness if you're going to a major event like EGX and your objective is to play Battlefront 2 or Assassin's Creed Origins or something like that you're not going to risk your place in line to play the game that's just a remaster of a Kinect yeah. game that you probably never played in the first place. Yeah. So, um, I think it's going to definitely be a, a very niche audience mm. for these, but yeah. the audience is there, and it sounds like they'll be happy with it. But uh, yeah. So, how did Rush do? Because this was originally a Kinect game. Did well, it I, feel... Did the controller feel okay, well, or did you try it all? Well, I only played the Ratatouille level. Okay. And I was racing around as a rat, collecting cheese, and it was it ever moved every which way I wanted. It, it, if you hadn't told me it was a Kinect game, you would just assume it was a normal playable character. It, you, you know, he just he, he just move like a normal character. You wouldn't know. You would have just thought it was a Ratatouille game, and that's that's in some ways the best thing for it. Really, it's you know there's going to be five little experiences. I'm 
I am having never played either. It's like great. These two brand new again. Ratatouille look. It looked stunning. I mean, I think because the last Ratatouille game was on the PlayStation Two that I played. This looks. This looked pretty. Pretty sweet. That is definitely good to know. I I know that um, in the Res TV Discord there was one question about this, and is we know everything's controller based now. Is the option for yeah. the Play Connect still there? Yeah, it I, is think it, there. I think it still is. I think it's still there if you want it. It's just that I think they realize that, you know, they need yeah. to control. I, I think personally as well, it's a, there's a gap in there's a gap in Disney's um, portfolio. Xbox needs some titles, uh, especially for the family, um, and the, the way the Nintendo's going. It makes sense. And, uh, yeah, these are going to be two good pickups. I think for 20 bucks, it's just a shame they're going to be landing on the same day as Super Mario. Because I'm going to be yeah. honest, I'm going to be distracted. I, I I'm not going to pick them up on the first day because they will almost certainly go on yeah. sale very quickly. Because it's also right around the, the holidays. So, yeah. um, so let's kind of jump over uh, another game coming out in the holidays: Lego Marvel mm-hmm. Super Heroes Two. How was your experience with that? They had um, they had like four or five booths. Actually, they had about eight booths up for that for that game. I um, did get a lovely new poster for the, for the thing, so that oh, was nice. cool. Because it was uh, double sided with Ninjago, because they had that up. I didn't go and bother playing that one. Um, it was that initial demo where you're facing off against the big robot at the front and you're playing as the Guardians. I think a lot of these demos were what we've seen at E3 and stuff. Um, generally, jumped into it, it's like, this is just like, this is just, this is a Lego game. It's a Lego game. Um, so that was, it was good. And you know exactly what you're getting. Um, I mean, it took a little bit of time to get working at the guy. did have to go, if you press that button and do this, you can um, actually throw the mines in the right, and aim your mines. And I'm just going, oh, there's a mine, there's a mine. Like, eventually it might hit it. but Everyone gets mines. Yeah. Um, so that was good. Um, they did have a special presentation on the Sunday, which I wasn't there for, but I did watch the stream yesterday. Um, um, they did have the present. He did come on, one of the guys there. And was talking about it and showing off some of the new footage of one of the new four levels with Loki and stuff. So look, it's looking good. Um, it's a Lego game. Uh, it's a hard thing. It's like, yeah. almost like there's hard to be. Ex- it's hard to get excited over it because there's nothing different. And the speed that they're churning out Lego games at this year. I mean, there was this. I was listening to the NBC podcast and going, well, there's like a um, there's been like a Lego game every two weeks on the Switch. So. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a solid. I'm looking forward to playing it in December. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. It does sound like it was the same demo as at yeah. 23 or maybe slightly different. Mm. But yeah, I mean, Ninjago literally came out this past week, yeah. both the movie and the game. So yeah, I, I think that might be Lego Dimensions is gone, mm. guys. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'd say the big one, the, the big game that everyone... At, well, at least everyone who cares about Star Wars cares about would be Battlefront 2, and you got to play the multiplayer, right? Yeah, we got to play the Assault on Feed. Um, I'll be honest, this was standing in line in the um, in the early action sections on Thursday morning. Door open, PlayStation booth, great big PlayStation. That was that was number one. That was the one place I was going first week because it was an hour wait for everyone. I think I waited about half an hour. Luckily, I did actually get to the point of where they stopped me. Well, I said lucky. I was the one that got stopped just before the next round did. So I was right at the front of the queue for the second or the third game. So I was able to watch the whole of an, a match beforehand right from pretty close so I could kind of see what was going on. It looks beautiful because it was on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, I mean, I was playing as the um, the clone troopers. They knew this whole thing with the different... Uh, uh, classes. Uh, classes. Um, I seem to prefer playing the the specialist, where I had um, like sort of sniper lens, where I could sort of, better for me to kind of well, I could hide back and just snipe at people rather than running straight in. The officer, I still don't get why you want to be the officer because if it did a little gun, and I yeah couldn't quite get that. The, um, the so officer. The the officer is the one that gives out ammo and and yeah. med packs and stuff, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's you know, I, good for me. That that's my play style yeah. because I'm I'm not killing anybody, not by not for lack of trying. No, but I'm no, not I, killing anyone. I'm, so. I was uh, there at the top of the throne room with this just great big gun, just blasted anything that came through. Um, 
kept staying out of the way while all the little troopers at the front were like taking all the hits and dying. I'm like, I'm just going to stay back here and take anyone that you miss. Um, <clears throat> dear, it just look, it just looks stunning. I'm so just holding out to see if we get the Star Wars Battlefront um, Pro bundle. I'm just, I'm hoping there is one because. It looks stunning in, on the Pro. The big 40, you know, just looking around and seeing everyone playing. It was a massive game. It's just looking like they took everything from the first game and they've just upped it. Um, it, it was definitely like, this is cool. I cannot wait to get this home. Obviously, we've got the beta coming up um, next week. Um, it's just looking like this. This game just looks awesome. It plays awesome. It, it just... I mean, just running around, just seeing all the little droids and stuff and running around, it's just like, oh my God, I haven't been, like, it feels like I haven't been involved in, like, that era for so long that it felt quite fresh because I always did like the prequel movies. I like that whole, you know, Naboo and the clone troopers and the robots and stuff, and it's just like, this feels fresh, it feels different, but it feels just like they've just, just upped it. Um, so yeah, no, I'm just I was just really chuffed with how great this game seemed to feel. I've always liked the clone troopers, especially <laughs> once you got into the Clone Wars uh, television show. Either of them, although they they didn't have too much of a part in the uh, the hand drawn animated one. Yeah. But you know, you really got to see some personality come out mm. with like Fives and Rex and Cody and all these guys, which was great. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. This is top of my list, uh, right alongside Shadow of War. Mm. But let's see. And even, uh, even the like the the officer is him. You know, he, you know, it's the same. For, it's okay. that same guy's face because obviously he's a clone. But it's that thing of that little thing of like, oh, it's the clone. It's like you know, just just like it was. It was really cool. Um. So one game that you were interested in, it's got a very Disney vibe, mm. but it's not actually a Disney no. game, is Cuphead. Yeah. And you had a chance to play that one. Yeah, I mean, this one is out... <coughs> sorry, that one's actually out this week on Xbox. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's... I mean, it looks so much like Silly Fit Symphonies. It's a side-scrolling shooting game. Um, it is hard. I mean, there was a bit of a queue behind me. They only... They only about six booths with this on. You could pretty much walk almost straight onto it. Um... But it was that kind of thing. Oh, I'll just play. I died. Well, if I got under another one. <laughs> this, is like, um, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be hard. I'm just sitting there going, switch. It should have been on the switch because um, it just would have been perfect there. Um, yeah, it looks great. It looks stunning. I'm looking forward to playing it because um, it just feels like a proper. It just feels like a like a silly symphonies game. He just looks like Mickey Mouse with a cup. But um, it was it was a lot of fun that one. Yeah, uh, you saying it's really hard suggests I yeah. probably won't bother getting this, but <laughs> um, the aesthetics look fantastic. Yeah. It really does look like one of those old school, old school Mickey cartoons that we grew up watching, mm. it, and they were old even when we were growing yeah. up. So, but it looks fantastic. Um, maybe if they release like a demo, I'll give it a shot. Mm. But I'm not going to go into this one blind, especially yeah. if it's going to be a difficult. I just I don't have the time for difficult games yeah, anymore. No, I don't... It's, yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, but yeah, so there were other games on the floor. Yeah. Were there any other ones that you, uh, you yeah. just want to shout out? Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey lined up an hour to play that one. I had 10 minutes playing that. That is so awesome. I'm, that's got to be basically... <laughs> it's like, that game is going to be so cool. That is, that's going to be a Switch seller. It's going to be a big Christmas hit. This game is so much fun. It is straight into Mario, just running around, doing what Mario does. The hat thing just works perfectly. You know, become the bill, you become the hat. Um, yeah, and then there's a little side-scrolling bit where you came, came classic. This game is going to be... Everyone was walking around in Mario hats. <laughs> um, it just was... It just is great. Um, I can't put it across enough. Um, Wait an hour for it. Ten minutes. Great game. Perf it just really was really cool. Yeah, I've got to admit, um, you know, if you listen to previous podcasts, I've been like, eh, I'm probably not going to bother with Mario Odyssey. Now, I haven't had a chance to play it, mm. but the, uh, the what do you call it, the Nintendo Direct, the yeah. most recent one, I finally actually sat down and watched it, and I was watching the Mario Odyssey gameplay in addition to all the other stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm having some serious nostalgia flashbacks to Mario 64 now. I, 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 I've, I think I might have been converted over to... 
I'm probably going to pick this up. Yeah, see, I think for me it was always that like Super Mario Sunshine. I remember that being like a, one of the best games I remember having on the GameCube. Um, I never was a big fan of, N- of the N64 version. I, I, I don't know. It, the Sunshine game was always the much better game to me. So this is just, it just looks great. It just looks, I can't wait to get it. This one is, the problem is for this game is that it's literally the same day as Disneyland, Ru- Disneyland Rush, Assassin's Creed, and Wolfenstein. There's a and it's I mean it's 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 a heavy week. It is a very heavy week. Although, if any game is going to go up against Wolfenstein and Assassin's Creed, yeah, Mario Odyssey is the one that could conceivably win that fight. Yeah, I mean I did play Assassin's Creed on Origins again another hour queue. That game is awesome. I mean I was running around Egypt. I was on a boat. I had a hippo and a coming at me. While I was in the boat, so I started shooting at it, and then a crocodile came up and started attacking me, and I literally just—I literally had the. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Because oh, <laughs> they cleared everybody out of the room. I was right over in the corner. He had to come over and like, I was, I was in there. Um, I literally came. I came out there, went across my wife's phone, and I went. I was just playing Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I want that one for Christmas, please. It's literally just like, I want it, get it for me. But it's out, same day, it's um, it's Mario, we got Battlefront, we've got Lego. It's like, I want it for Christmas, please, thank you very much. So I've already put it on my Christmas list. (laughs) It's another one of those games I'm interested in as well. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag. Um, And I I think I'm probably going to grab this one, Mm. but it's going to be... Uh, not necessarily on my Christmas list, but my own like personal watch yeah. for a sale after the holidays list. Yeah, it's for me. It's like it's fantastic. I really want to play it when it comes out, but it's it's too heavy month. There's just no point in me buying it just to have it sat there. So that was cool. Try out Sonic Forces. Stick with Mania. Even, the, the, I got a post there, and she goes, "Did you enjoy it?" And I went, "It's good, but it's not as good as Mania." And she just turned around and goes, "We all, everybody, and we all think this." That game is so gonna just burn because Sonic Mania is just taking all of the the, the sale out of it. Um, trying to think, played um, this like this weird little pinball game thing on the pit on the on the Switch to like Island Village or like little ant pushing a little ball along. That was that was a real like you know like sometimes I always find there was no one sat there. I sat down to play a game and I'm like. This is cool. I like this. So that was my little um, Yoku's Island Village or something like that. That's so that's pretty cool. I'm just trying to think. And I did well, VR. I did um, yeah, was Gran Turismo VR. And, and then, then you yeah. got motion sick. Yeah, I was a little bit... I wasn't really sick. I was just like, mm, I've got a bit of this bellyache now. Now, it could have been the cheeseburger an hour before, but um, I was a bit like... I sort of sat there. and Because you know, I had the steering wheel. I had the pedal i had the seat headphones i mean literally like i'm the entire there's thousands of people around me and i've they've, they've all gone i mean engulfed in this land hit i started the thing i hit reverse i flew back through the first track <laughs> um i'm there like banging around for trying to because like well how do i go forward because he I had failed to neglect to tell me there was a pedal so i'm just like trying to grab any button because you are completely blind Right. Um, so eventually I found the speed. And, and of course, the usual typical me of playing racing games of no break. So just straight into the, just I'm juddering around. I'm like, I'm like, look forward, do not look around because you're going to get sick. You know, it starts steaming up. Um, eventually I worked out that there was a break and I was, and I was just and, you know, going down the fast bit. And like, it feels good. And they're like this because I can only see at the bottom of the glass at this point because it's all steamed up. And I'm just like, I remember just getting off and going, yeah, I think VR is done for me. I've tried it twice at this event. Um, neither time I've had a great, I've had a perfect experience. Uh, it steams up. It, it's either, bl- I mean, at least it wasn't blurry when I started. Um, I just got off and went, yeah, this, 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 this isn't, this isn't for me. Um, it's, it's almost like, like I said, I couldn't even stand. I mean, Assassin's Creed. I'm sat there on this like this, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna have to just move back a little bit because I can't actually. It's too close. Um, I'm getting showing I'm your getting, age, I'm Roger. Getting, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I looked around and like, why am I the only one that's like two foot back from everybody else? Like playing Mario, it's like, no, take a few steps. Like, yeah, I'm getting old, and I can't. I have to now step back from the screen. And it's not because In- I couldn't see. It's just so. It was like. 
I think as well, everything's in like 4K high resolution. And you're so close. It's like I don't sit with my head that close to the screen. No, actually, uh, the way you describe it, it sounds like that they probably should have been moving back. But I don't know <laughs> logistics or whatever like that. So uh, it sounds like it was a great convention. Yeah. It sounds like you know this 2017 holiday season is going to be absolutely crazy. Yeah. No matter what kind of game you're into, there's going to be something for you. Yeah. Any then, any last thoughts and we'll sign just, off? Just really great. I really enjoyed it. I'm going back next year. It's... It's great for us as Brits to get a proper gaming event because obviously Gamescom takes place in Germany. You've got E3, you've got Tokyo Games Week, Paris Games Week. It's like this is this needs to be our yearly. I mean, I know they have the Res ones as well, but this is the big one. Um, I loved it. Um, I just wish I had more time to have gone to spent there, really. Um, but no, just fantastic experience. And uh, yeah, it's great as well because now it's like all these big games coming up. You know, I've played some of them. You feel like you've got it. You know, got it going. I just really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be a crazy 2017. Yeah. There's there's more games than anybody can play, yes. not for a reasonable amount. So. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, let us know what games you're looking forward to in 2017. Comment below. Hit that subscribe button. James, where can they find you? You can find me heroiclegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Later. Later. To infinity and beyond!